are they? The notion of a man that actually stands unreservedly for the good side of humanity as against the darker side, that's what the attraction was. Not bad, surprisingly. John said, if I wrote a good priest, would you play him? And I said, yes, I would, without hesitation. And it's been kind of brewing since the guard was made. I was very worried when I read the first few pages of the script that it was going to be a horrible priest story. And my ears kind of pricked at that because it's just not my experience with priests. I have a very positive relationship with priests growing up. So the idea of a good priest story was fascinating. The origin of Calvary, I think, started with the notion of how difficult it must be to uphold a sense of truth and a sense of goodness <laughs> when you're being vilified. Your church is on fire. Who do a thing like this? Somebody with a grudge against the church, obviously. Yeah, that could be half the country. This is the first time I've ever met Brendan Gleeson and had the pleasure to work with him. I love him. He's a big bear, big kind-hearted man, and he's taught me a great deal. I've loved every minute of this experience. What was Stan getting at? If I could tell you, I would. You know that. I thought I was the one supposed to be in trouble, not you. There have been, you know, like challenges of craft, or there have been challenges about finding a character. This was less about finding who the character was and more about being the character. I haven't never worked with Brendan before, you know, he's one of those actors who I've been watching for, you know, a long time but I've never worked with, so that's actually been very cool. The atheistic doctor, it's a cliched part to play. One part humanism to nine parts gallows humour. Playing you though, now, that might be interesting. Playing me, who's me? The good priest. I'm a huge fan of my dad's work and I really respect what he does. I hadn't worked with him actor to actor for a while. It's like working with any great actor, except for you know him better, I suppose. Which of the lads are you here to see, Father? Freddie Joyce. You know, I've asked him to hang me. Why do you want him to hang you? You're saying you feel remorse. I'm not a monster. Do I look like a monster? I don't think you feel any guilt whatsoever about anything that you've done. I think that's going to be quite a disturbing scene. And it brings Father James further into the mire, to a place where evil becomes a very real presence in the film. I heard about your church. Terrible thing. Yes. You must be very upset. This is one of the hardest films I've ever made uh, emotionally for me. I found it really, really wearing. But I can safely say it's one of the happiest shoots I've ever been on. And it's been a pretty amazing journey.